Hello, in today's video I am going to show you how to create this chart animation. Also, thank you for a really good feedback under my first tutorial video and let's jump straight into After Effects. So in After Effects you want to import the chart that you will be recreating. So now we want to decrease the opacity of this chart, so select the layer and click T and set the opacity to 10%. We want it barely visible. And now we'll start creating the layout of this chart. So select the pen tool and start drawing the lines like this. Hold shift key. This way you'll create a perfectly straight line. Set the fill to none and set the stroke to like three pixels and the color to black. Actually, I will also increase the opacity of the background chart to 20 because I want to be able to see the lines. And now you can select this first line and click Ctrl D on keyboard to copy it and just adjust the position of the second line so that it matches with the second line on the chart. And now just repeat the process until you create all the lines. Okay, so it's done and now what we'll do is select all these layers, right click and pre-compose them. We do that mainly because later in this project we'll have a lot of layers and it will be hard to navigate in this panel and actually find a layer that you want to edit. Now I'll create the blue bars from this chart. And so in order to create these bars, you want to click G on keyboard, so select pen tool, hold shift and draw a straight line. And now adjust the position so that it's approximately at the center of this bar. So now we want to select this shape layer and increase the stroke to something like 55. And this way you create this bar. So now I see that I've actually made a mistake because we want the baseline, so the first line that we created, to be above these bar charts. And so we need to go back to our horizontal lines composition, select the first layer, Ctrl C and paste it here and put it above everything else and then delete it from here. And this way we are able to put this line above all the bars that we'll create. I will call it baseline. And now let's Ctrl D and create the second bar. So adjust the position. And now the third bar. So in order to increase the length of this bar, you want to click G, so select the pen tool and now zoom in and just extend it while holding shift so that it's a straight line, something like this. And so now just repeat the process until you create all the bars. Okay, and this is how it looks. And now the next thing that we'll do is, this is something that I should have done at the start of the video, but go back to the horizontal lines composition, create some kind of white background there to see the lines put it behind everything and now we want to decrease the stroke of all these lines so let's set it to one pixel just to make them thinner than the baseline also delete this white background from this composition and go back to the main composition and now we also want to select all these layers that we just created and right click on them and again create a composition and the next thing will be to create all of these numbers and all of these years. So all of these are just text layers. So we'll create a new text layer. And we'll start with years. Change the font to something like Monsterat, I would say. Set it to medium. If you don't have the Montserrat font, you can just easily find it on the internet. Now I want to rotate this text, but as you can see, the anchor point is off. So we want to put it in the middle. And so here is a shortcut that you can use. You just put your anchor point in the middle of your layer. So just click Ctrl Alt Home and this will automatically put your anchor point in the middle. And so now you can just select this layer and type R and adjust the rotation. Also adjust the scale. And now we want to copy this layer, so Ctrl D and only adjust the X position because it's already perfectly rotated and of course change the year. Okay, and so just now repeat this process until you create all the text layers needed in this animation. So all the years and all the revenue numbers and I will be back when I do that. Okay, and when it's done, we can actually delete the background chart 
and create a new white solid and put it at the bottom just to make everything visible and now we'll create a new null object put it at the top and connect everything except for the white background to this null object this will allow us to basically be able to move everything at once okay so now we can start animating this chart so the first part that will animate uh, will be bars so go into bars composition select the last bar and add a trim path to it and now keyframe the end position go back to like two seconds and keyframe the end position again go back to the first frame and set the end to 0%. Select both of these keyframes and click F9 to smooth them out. And now with these two keyframes selected, go to Graph Editor and make the graph look something like this. Make this animation a little faster, so not two seconds, but let's say one and a half seconds. Select them, maybe go to Graph Editor. Yeah, I think now it's pretty good. So copy these keyframes, select all the other layers and paste it here. And after animating them, we want to stagger them. So starting with the second bar, we want to move like four frames ahead and set the start of the second bar here. Let's actually do three frames. And now just do the same with every other bar. So just keep moving three frames ahead and setting the start of the next bar here. And this is how it should look. You see, I think it looks much better than the first version. It created this cool effect of delay. And now it looks really smooth. Okay, so go back to the first composition, to the main composition. And now we'll animate all the horizontal lines. So the first line will be the baseline. So add a trim path to it. Go to the start of your sequence and keyframe both end and start and set both of these values to 50%. This will just make this line animate from the middle and I think it will look really cool. Go to like one and a half second or actually make it one second. Again, keyframe start and the end and set the start to 0% and the end to 100%. And this is how it looks right now. So as you can see, it's animating from the middle, but we want to select all these keyframes and click F9 and then go to graph editor and make it look something like this. Let's see now. Yeah, it looks much better. It's fast at the start and then slows down at the end, and this is what we wanted. So now basically copy this trim path, go to the composition where you have your horizontal lines, select all of them and paste it here. Go back to the main composition and let's see how it looks. So now the last thing that is remaining is to animate all of these text layers that are here, all of the numbers. So firstly, we'll animate the Y axis. So go to the composition where you have these numbers, I will add a new white background here, just to see everything. Now select one of these layers, click P on your keyboard to open the position and keyframe it at the start and go to the one second mark and keyframe it here. And now go back to the first keyframe and just push the text to the left. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, now select both of these keyframes and click F9 and go to the graph editor and make it look something like this. It's good, but I think it could be a little faster. So move this keyframe to like 20 frames. Let's see now. Yeah, I think now it's pretty good. Or maybe even move it like somewhere here. So now just basically do the same animation for every other layer here. And now we'll also stagger these text layers a little. So starting from the bottom, move two frames ahead and move the start of the second text layer here. Now again, move two frames and set the start of the third layer here. And this is how it looks right now. Okay, the only problem right now is that zero is visible at the start. So we want to move all the layers two frames ahead. And now always remember to delete this white background here because otherwise you will see it in the main composition. 
Now you can animate uh, the rest of the text however you want. I actually encourage you to try your own animations to experiment with that. And I think what I will do is actually delete the number bars, except for the last layer. So the highest number, copy the highest number here and just delete the number bars or maybe make it hidden for now. And now I will start animating the years. So go to the years composition and create a new white background as always just to see everything. So select all of these text layers, click P on keyboard and keyframe position for every one of these layers. Go to like two and a half seconds and keyframe again. Now go back to the first keyframe and set the position on every one of these layers to the position of the first layer. So to the position of 2008 in this case. And this will look something like this. But now, of course, select all of these keyframes, click F9 and go to the graph editor and really make most of this animation at the start. So make it look something like this. I think make it even faster at the start. So select the first point here and move it like this. Let's see now. But now what I want to do is I don't want to see it at the start like this. So we'll have to create a mask and this is when our white background will be useful. Select the white background and go up here and select the rectangle tool to create a mask inside of this background like this. Actually create another background to just be able to see everything because the text is black and the rest of the background is also black. Make this background maybe yellow and put it at the bottom. Now open the white background, open the mask and set the feather to 30. Also make this mask a little bigger. And now put this white background at the top and select all of the ears and select the track mat, set it to white solid background. And now select all of these ears, click P on keyboard and at the first frame move them a little to the left. And as you can see this white background mask created this feather effect. And I think this will just look better when the text will be appearing. So now let's see the whole composition. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Now remember to delete the yellow background and go back to the main composition and see how everything here looks. Now what I wanted to do is animate the highest number here to make it visible when the last bar is almost finished. So right here and I will just animate it. Okay, I've animated it and it looks something like this. So just an easy animation, very similar to what we did to the numbers on the left of the chart. And now in this tutorial, I will not add any labels to this chart because I don't think it's needed in this tutorial, you can add uh, labels yourself. But this tutorial is not done yet because I want to show you how to make the background more interesting. So add a new solid, put it at the bottom but above our white background. And now go to the effects and presets and search for grid and add this grid to our new background. Make the color black just to see it and just play with the settings to make it look better. So something like this is okay, I think. And now set the opacity to 10%. Already it looks much more interesting, I think. Okay, and now select our first background and search for gradient. Select the gradient ramp and paste it onto our composition. And now go back to the grid layer and change the color to white. At the start, we made it black only to be able to see it, but I want a white grid. And now play with the colors of the gradient to adjust it to your liking. I made it kind of like this, so like pink color and yellow color. So this is how it looks at the end. Okay, but we are not done yet. I will show you how to create a highlight to make the last three bars highlighted. So create a new solid of any color, reshape it and change the position because this solid will be used as a mask. So be precise when adjusting the position. Move it behind everything except for the backgrounds. Position it something like this and now create another solid. And this one actually make it the color that you want your highlight to be. 
So usually it's yellow, but you can choose whatever color you like, but I will stay with yellow. Okay, and now with this one, use a rectangle tool and draw something like this, but this doesn't actually have to be perfect here. And now select the second yellow background, so the highlight effect, and set the track mat to the first yellow background. But why we even did that in the first place? Why didn't we just use one uh, yellow background? And it's because now we want to expand here, go to mask and set the mask feather to something like 100. And now when you move this highlight effect down, you can see that it has a feather effect and I think it looks much better. Okay, and now click this highlight effect and click T and change the opacity to like 40 or maybe 50. Yeah, 50 is good. Okay, and now the only thing that's remaining is to animate this highlight effect. So I will start animating it somewhere here. You see, last three bars are still being created. So select both the highlight effect and the mask for it and move the start of them somewhere here, like this. And now select only this highlight effect, click P on keyboard, keyframe it here and go like a little frames ahead, maybe a second ahead and set the second keyframe. Go to the first keyframe and just move it down so that it's not visible. Go to the last keyframe and it's already done here. Now select both of these keyframes and click F9 and go to graph editor and make most of this animation happen at the start. And now let's play it back. Yeah, I think it looks perfect. So this is the final animation that I've created. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you and thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video.